One, two, three, four. Yeah, your heart is a sun. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while for obvious reasons. Um, I just want to say if you haven't already watched the video addressing everything going on, Black Lives Matter, please go watch it before you watch this one. That video is more important than any of the videos I'm going to start posting again, so if you haven't watched that one, please do. I don't want to film this vlog to push away the important information to take its place. I really just want to film it because I know my vlogs can be a light in a lot of your guys' days and I know you guys enjoy my vlogs so much and I think that as I still am continuing to do things to better my knowledge to donate to educate myself all of that I don't think there's anything wrong with me vlogging at the same time and getting a video up to lighten some of your guys's days so definitely go watch that video if you haven't it has so many good resources that you guys can use but welcome back to my channel if you aren't new here if you are new here welcome my name is Lauren I post a lot of lifestyle content lots of day in the life, lots of vlogs, so definitely subscribe if you haven't. And like and comment on this video because they really support me, they help me grow, and yeah. And I respond to every single comment, so you might as well comment. But I literally missed vlogging so much. I don't know when this video is going to go up, if it's going to go up anytime soon, I have no clue. But I am doing a lot today, not really a lot, but I have some eventful things getting done today, so I thought I would vlog um, this morning actually, well it's already 1.45, so this morning I got a text from from Catherine, if you don't know who she is, she's one of my really good YouTube friends, saying that she was coming down to San Diego to go to Ikea. So she asked if I wanted to hang out. So I got up really fast, got ready really fast, and met her at Ikea. So we finally got to meet, which is really cool. Neither of us vlogged because honestly I was planning on it, then just forgot about it, and we were really busy trying to like get everything in the car. <sighs> So yeah, we finally met, which was super cool to hang out with her, finally meet her, talk to her in person. It was just really cool. Yes, we had our masks on, we were social distancing, don't worry about that. But we did finally get to meet, which was super cool. So, she got a lot of stuff to redecorate her room. I got a few things that I've been wanting to get, and I'm gonna show you right now. I also went to Starbucks afterwards, picked up the new guava passion fruit drink. It has like the ginger pineapple syrup and coconut milk, and hopefully guava and passion fruit somewhere in here I don't know but I mean it's good I guess would I get it again no was it worth five dollars no <laughs> okay so I picked up the Alex drawers um because we're actually going to get rid of this desk I'm going to put the drawers on one side and then my dad is actually gonna build a tabletop for it and then stand like legs on the other side so we're gonna use it as part of my new desk which is really exciting because I really need more drawer space so that's why I picked this up I've been wanting it for so long and I finally just went ahead and got it it's gonna be a really good investment so got that I also just couldn't stay away from the basket did I need it absolutely not but I know I'm gonna find a good place for it and I know it's gonna come in handy so I picked it up any either way and it's just really cute it was like $20 I think and I'll definitely find a spot for it I just don't know right now and then I picked up a little clothing rack because I need more space for my clothes I have no clue where the heck this is gonna fit in my room it says it's only 39 by 18 and an eighth inches in width so I'm guessing it'll fit here once I move my desk all the way over move this mirror stuff like that hopefully that works I have no idea if it doesn't fit then I'll just give it to someone else or sell it it was only ten dollars so it'll probably come in handy I'll probably find a spot for it but if not oh well and then I picked up this beautiful little fake eucalyptus plant this is so pretty I love it don't know where it's gonna go again because I have so many plants everywhere but I will find a spot for it and then I just picked up this pot to go with it this is a freaking cute pot it was only like five dollars which is really cool and the plant fits perfectly in side which is super satisfying so yeah that's all i got from ikea my room is a mess right now like it's never never like this but it is right now so i need to clean it up a little bit and then probably get started on making my drawers okay let's tackle this Wow, you guys were zoomed in a little. 
sorry. Ikea furniture always comes with a billion pieces, so wish me luck. I need to know what tools I need so that I can go ask my dad for them. Where did the instructions go? Oh. I need a screwdriver, screwdriver, and a hammer, okay? Here we got the goods. Okay, let's separate all of these. My dad taught me to lay out all of the pieces and separate them into their designated groups. You and me. When you choose to take the road, sister, sing. Imagine all the words becoming. Okay, I apologize that I didn't film me finish making it, but my battery ended up dying because obviously I have not filmed in a while and I did not know my batteries weren't charged. So I had to charge my batteries and hopefully this one will last a while because my other one's not charged either. But here's the finished product. Super in love. Everything that I wanted and I finally have more storage space. So what we're going to do right now. Wow, this place in my room it just looks so crammed over here and then like nothing. You see? So I'm going to move my desk over all the way to here and then I'm going to put that drawer right there just temporarily until um, we end up making my new desk. So yeah. Okay, that is where it's gonna go for now. I'll honestly probably just stick this here also for now until I find a place for it. Or should I put my plant or both? My stomach hurts so bad. I need to eat something. I have not eaten anything all day today. This just looks so awkward while there's no desk on top of it. Okay, I think this is what we're going with right now. <laughs> honestly, my room is so cramped right now. I might even end up selling that clothing rack. I have no idea, but I really can't tell anything once my desk is built and once that that's put in the right spot. So until then, don't really know what's going on. I think that looks kind of cool. I just picked some cute clothing pieces that match and hung them up there. Not necessarily my favorite pieces, but just cute pieces that look aesthetic, you know? <laughs> but I actually just got a package and it is for a video coming soon. So I can't really show you anything in it, but I'm gonna open it right now. I think I'm gonna face to my sister while I do it, but yeah. Good morning vlog. Very early. This is the earliest I've been up in probably months. It's 6 11. Gonna go get Starbucks and then he's gonna go surf. And I was gonna sit on the beach and watch and read, but it's sprinkling, so I might just stay in the car. Maybe it's not raining over there. He's dense. You have dents in your face. So we just stopped at Starbucks and I decided to get to order a hot version of my drink. So I was expecting, you know, two shots with steamed soy milk and some caramel syrup. They handed it to us with two shots in a tall cup with a, like a splash of cold soy milk. So we asked for more, more soy milk thinking that they were gonna fill it up with soy milk, but then they gave me half a cup of soy milk and cold soy milk. But they asked me if I wanted steamed after they already gave it to me, so I felt bad asking them to steam it. So now it just tastes like I'm drinking cold coffee that's been sitting out for a while. But it's still good. She's Danish. If you're an OG, you know that I was obsessed with them, right? Now I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom after. <laughs> I know you want to sing. This is a friend's old board. I'm not going to be able to hear you. Uh. of eyes and I crawl into my bed and the clothes won't help me but at least we keep the voice down those voices inside my Well, my little 
beach setup was cut a little short because it started raining, so I had to come back to the car. <sighs> So now I'm just gonna chill in here. Honestly, I might just fall asleep. But I also had coffee, so I'm kind of not that tired. But I know it's gonna hit me later because coffee doesn't really help me, honestly, like too much. I think it's just like a mental thing for me. If I drink it, I feel like I'm more awake, but it doesn't actually help me. You know, that was honestly so nice. Like I was literally just sitting there listening to the waves, reading my book, contemplating life. And yeah, I'm reading the subtle art of not giving an F right now. I love it so far. I'm halfway through. I'm on chapter five now, but I honestly, I think I have found a new love for reading again. Not again, I've never loved reading, but I've always been into reading like self-help books and stuff like that. So it really just takes the right book to get you into reading. You're probably like me. You're used to just having to read books for school and that's a totally different totally different vibe You know, you don't get to pick what book you want to read in school So it's kind of like obviously you don't want to read it But when you actually get to choose a book to read and if you want to start getting into reading I highly recommend this book and also a lot of other books So I have a long list of like books that I want to read But if you have any let me know I actually have a list on my phone. It has a bunch of books I'm gonna tell them to you right now oh I don't have a list of books anymore I don't know where I went so if you have any like books that are like this um please let me know there's a lot of books that I've been recommended to read and I need a new one after I finish this one so let me know your favorite like self-help type books I'm not really into fiction like non-fiction type of things um but yeah It's 8.34 now. I'm still just chilling. I really want to go back out there, but it keeps raining and then it stops and then it starts again and then it stops and I'm like, maybe I should go back out. And then it starts raining again and I'm like, okay, probably not. So I'm still just waiting in here. Look who finally decided to show up. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Why are you ignoring me? I didn't hear you. I have water in my ear. Look how cute he is. I literally was just talking about you telling you, telling them that I'm still waiting. And then I see you walk back. Breakfast time. At 10.30. Breakfast number two time. My cheese Danish was my first breakfast. I'm coming. <laughs> it's windy out here. Away. We can't have for some loving. Put you some early play. I'm watching an old time movie Follow the clouds go by And drift in the sky Got the bag, got my coffee Again? Got the masks, got my second coffee It's only 10 a.m. I have a problem Am I gonna vlog in public? No, because there's a guy sitting in that van <laughs> We just got all the goods. We're gonna go drive by the beach and park by the beach. Yeah. Yes, and eat in the car because it's really windy. And I hope you can hear me. We but can you just probably leave your car can't. Here? No, because we can't see the ocean. You don't need to see the ocean. It was also five times more expensive than I thought it was gonna be. But that's okay. <laughs> Driving to the beach. We're literally at the beach. No, we're not. We're in Pacific Beach. There's a mean one. Which means we're five minutes max from the ocean. So we're gonna go drive to the ocean and stay in our car. After this, I'm literally gonna have four shots today. Mukbang time. We're gonna do a little haul. Another double shot, but this has chocolate and hot pia and soy milk in it and it's so good. I wish they sold it other places, but it was also $5 so it's not an all the time thing because that's expensive. That's like Starbucks lattes. Oh, some Spam Musubi with spicy mayo. We're sharing that. It's gonna splash me in the face. Some fried rice. Spicy fried rice. Spicy fried rice with some fried eggs and some hamburger patties. And gravy. And gravy, AKA Loco Loco. Loco Moco, I was kidding. Oh my gosh, my thing's like deformed because the rice is so hot. I pokey, poke, salad, rice, yep. and mac salad. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna start on one of these though. We're also parked right by the beach, but you can't see, so. Delicioso. This masterpiece. So my SD card ran out of storage, so I'm on my phone now. 
finally putting his bed to use. Watching some surf camp surf lessons going on. And it's really windy, so again, I don't know if you can hear me. But we're just chilling. My phone's also at, ew, like 5%. It's gonna die. But let me show you our view. everybody so surprise surprise I'm actually not the smartest person in the world and I actually had my SD card with me the whole time I was here when I thought I forgot it at my house so now I'm frustrated because I could have been vlogging this whole time and I was borrowing Keikoa's um, SD card that he uses for his GoPro but it got filled up super super fast so then I thought I couldn't vlog anymore but then I ended up finding my SD card in my laptop case which I did not know that I put in there so I had it the whole time but it's 10 o'clock on Saturday now. I'm leaving to go home. He's at work already. He left really early this morning and I'm heading home right now. I have to get gas first and it's also raining. Not looking forward to driving in the rain ever but I wanted to show you really quick because we went to Home Depot yesterday and obviously I could not vlog it because I didn't ha have an SD card. But I picked up this plant. Isn't it so cute? Not that I have any more room for anything in my room, but I really wanted a tall plant to put somewhere as like a staple decoration piece. It's real, if you can see. And I ordered a pot off of Amazon for it. It should come in a couple days, but I think it's really cute. So that's exciting. I also have leftovers from dinner last night because we made it a tradition to go to this one place called Dell's Hideout. It's like a barbecue place for like my YouTube mile stone type of things so we were gonna go over 10k but i went from 20k to 30k really fast so i we were kind of behind one so we might just do it every like 20k maybe i don't know but we went there last night and we have a bunch of leftovers so i have all those and i'm gonna bring those home to my family because they'll eat them over there more than they'll eat them here so i'm bringing those home but yeah i need to get gas and then we're gonna go home this vlog is such a mess and i apologize for it but i had no plan for this i really just wanted to vlog and I'm also this is also pretty eventful so thought I would vlog so yeah cold out there. I guess I'm just gonna fill my tank up because guys in quarantine I have probably I kid you not I've probably filled up my gas tank one time in the past two months which is crazy because during school I used to fill it up at least twice a week so this is crazy to me. Also I just want to say at the time I'm filming this I'm at 32,734 which means we're almost at 33k already and I'm just really excited. It's always something that I can look forward to is growing my... That man scared me. Okay, now I'm heading home, so see you when I get home. Okay, I am home now. I feel like it's been forever since I've vlogged at home, and I really missed it, but obviously, coffee. And I also just heated up... Don't judge my paper plate. I heated up some leftovers from yesterday. And healthy? No, but... Oh, well. Also, my little sticker from Julia just came in. So happy to support her. I love her so much. She's one of my best friends. So, <laughs> I'm so happy I was able to get this. Her channel will be linked below. Obviously, I don't think she's selling these anymore. I think she sold out. But either way, I'll have her channel linked so you can go support her if you don't already. But she's the sweetest, cutest little sticker she designed. And yeah. But before I eat and get on with my day, we have a huge major like little house slash backyard update and I'm gonna show you what that is. I'm so excited. I also, another update, I just got this mesh door thing so I can keep the flies out but keep my door open, which is gonna be so nice for when it's hotter. Super gloomy and sprinkly today, but let's show you. My dad literally built this whole thing. And we have baby koi fish. There's nine little baby koi fish in this pond now, which I think is so cute. I don't see any of them right now. Oh, there's one in there. Oh, one right there. They're literally like this small and they're so freaking cute. I don't know if you can hear me because the waterfall. But there's nine babies in there. So freaking cute. So exciting. Oh my gosh. So cute. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So peaceful, so calm. And I literally, 
love it and I'm so proud of my dad for making that I am going to eat catch up on going on social media and catching up on everything that's going on right now and then I'll probably end off this vlog after but we shall see so I'm gonna eat BRB okay so I know I mentioned in the beginning of this video that there are obviously so many more crazy important things going on in the world right now than just what some people are tending to put out so regarding the Black Lives Matter movement. I don't want to put out this vlog and have you think that I just made a video about it, talked about it, posted on social media about it, and then now I'm done. I want you to know that I'm continuing to stand up. I'm continuing to educate myself. Today, I am already twice as educated than I was two days ago. I watched the documentary 13th on Netflix last night with Keikoa, and we're just both a lot more educated than we were before. It takes more of a historical approach on it and tells you really like how it all started and just how racism and slavery began in the world and how yes there is racism towards other races but that's not what is going on here we're talking about black lives and black lives specifically so i just want to remind you that all the adsense revenue from this video and also my black lives matter sit down video will be donated to a organization not sure which one yet i will disclose it at the time once i get paid for this video which is in a month but every video for the next week also will be donated from all the AdSense revenue that I make from the videos so I don't want you to think it was just a one and done situation for me and since I talked about it one time I'm I feel like I'm okay with that because I'm not I'm continuing to post about it I'm continuing to talk about it continuing to be open to conversation about it it was also brought to my attention that some things I said in that video it just sounded like I was kind of speaking from what I've heard off of social media and quoting certain things and stuff like that which is true I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna say that I made up every single phrase or anything that I said in that video it's really just me sharing things that really have stuck with me that I have read on social media and that I have really resonated with and stand by it's more just me compiling a bunch of my feelings than an informational educational video it's not for educational purposes I really just wanted to put myself out there and let my subscriber base know where I stand pretty much and that I am for black lives matter I 100% I and it was also brought to my attention that people were upset that I didn't address any super important things that are going on such as police brutality and stuff like that and that wasn't intentional I didn't intentionally stray away from that topic but obviously things are not okay with that the certain actions that certain cops are taking in this situation not okay not acceptable in any way shape or form there are more and more videos coming out every single day of police brutally doing things to innocent individuals elderly individuals and it breaks my heart so yeah and also while all this is going on I still want to address that I hope everyone is staying super safe and healthy with COVID going around it's still a thing just because the black lives matter movement is one of the most important things in world history right now COVID is still a thing and i just want people to stay mindful of that and stay safe and stay healthy keep wearing your masks as much as social dis distancing is possible especially with protests going on i know it's not really possible but i know the most you can do is wear your mask so please just do that to keep yourself and to keep everyone else healthy so yeah i think i'm going to end off this vlog here i think i am going to start posting vlogs again with the intention of continuing to spread the word and talk about things that are most important while also just producing my content as I was before. Again, not trying to push every important aspect in life to the side right now, but just to shed some light on the situation and keep you in the loop of how I'm feeling and so that I can continue to share resources that I find, stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because I'd love to have you a part of the fam. Make sure you like and comment on this video because both things support me tremendously. Thank you so much for 30k. I know I didn't post a formal like post about it on my Instagram. I'm really just trying to keep my Instagram very um, resource-based right now and I'm trying to share as many resources as I can um, while still straying from posting my normal content on there. But I just want to say thank you for 30k. That still is amazing to me and I'm so happy. So happy. So yeah. Make sure you comment on this video because I respond to every single comment and your comments really help my growth here on YouTube. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Continue to educate yourselves. Continue to sign petitions. Continue to donate. Continue to find more resources. 
watched 13th on Netflix. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10 recommend. Informational wise, it was amazing. Definitely learned so much from that documentary. So thank you guys. I love you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.